Hello guys, my name is Alessia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we continue watching The Big Bang Theory Season 7. So what happened in the previous episode is that Sheldon gave a lesson to Leonard about returning the DVD that he forgot to return years ago and Sheldon had a, just a tiny little plan to teach Leonard a lesson that he's been waiting for years, years and years and it was so funny to see how Leonard tried to return this DVD, it was so funny but at the time he was wearing this horrible sweater and his skin looks so bad I hope he didn't get any like first or second burn degree because it looked pretty bad but it was funny <laughs> so I'm super excited to see what's gonna happen today so let's talk in guys let's get started math is all there it's not real yes it is yeah but look it is scientifically impossible for a person to tip a cow <laughs> <laughs> Even you, with your stocky build and lumberjack shoulders, you couldn't do it. Look, I'm telling you I've done it, okay? I clearly remember the cow standing up and then the cow on its side. Were you drunk? I was 16 in Nebraska. What do you think? I think you're the one who fell over. <laughs> well, that would explain why the sky was also on its side. Hey. Howard, cow tipping, real or not? I'm gonna say not. Eh, that's just based on me trying to roll my mom over when she's snoring. <laughs> Speaking of that big side of beef... Uh, she's invited all of you to Thanksgiving at her house. Aww. Mm. Of course, yeah, Sheldon is not happy. An, I'd love to go, but unfortunately, that sounds awful. <laughs> but thanks for inviting oh, us. <laughs> Please, Bernadette's bringing her dad because her mom's out of town. I never have anything to say to that guy. Oh, since you put it that way, yeah, I'd love to go, but that sounds even more awful. <laughs> It'd actually be nice to not hear Sheldon complain about my cooking all day. Yeah, but every year you prepare a terrible meal and every year I criticize it. Do our traditions mean nothing to you? I'm in. Sheldon. Oh, Everybody's going. Go. Let's go. But if yeah. her food is delicious, Thanksgiving is ruined, and it's on you. <laughs> do we really have to go to Mrs. Wallowitz's house? We do. It's too late to say no now. Best... Now I know how the African slaves felt. <laughs> Being dragged from their homes to labor under the yoke of the white man. Are you honestly comparing Thanksgiving dinner at Wallowitz's mom's with one of the greatest tragedies in the history of mankind? Yes. <laughs> Sheldon, you can have a nice Thanksgiving anywhere. I spent one in Vegas back when I was dating Zach. It was actually more fun than I thought. We gambled, went to one of those cheesy wedding chapels. We had a really good turkey dinner, which was surprising since we were at a strip club. <laughs> Wait, you went to a chapel? Yeah. Why? We had one of those silly fake weddings. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a Penny. minute. <laughs> no, those are real, right? <laughs> no, they're not. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. Yeah, he's right. They're real. <laughs> but it didn't seem real. Of course, because it's Vegas. Let me ask you, at any point was Las Vegas on its side? Hi, Dad. Hi, honey. Mm. Aww. You brought beer for everybody. Uh, okay, yeah, it's for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Now he really has to share. To an... Hey, Mike, let me help you out there. Thanks. What's wrong with your mom? Well, her gout's flaring up. Turns out an apple pie a day does not keep the doctor away. How could one little toe hurt so bad? Maybe because that little piggy is being crushed by the barn! <laughs> She should quiet down soon. I gave her enough pain meds to choke a, well, her. No traffic, we're sailing. Yeah, it's like we're on a ship. <laughs> Coming from Africa to America. Yeah, Sheldon, just let it go. Sheldon, this is completely inappropriate. You can't keep comparing yourself to a slave. I don't believe you're married to that idiot. Would you stop? We just did it as a goof. A goof or not, you're actually married. You need to get this taken care of. I will. Why are you making this such a big deal? It could be because you said yes to marrying Zach, but every time Leonard's proposed, he's gotten a resounding no. Top of my That's head. a valid <sighs> reason, I, I think. This? It says here you can get an annulment if any of the following conditions are met. Were you unable to consummate the marriage? <laughs> Penny, next. <laughs> Is there any evidence of fraud, bigamy, want of understanding? Want of understanding? What does that even mean? Ding, ding, ding! We have a winner! <laughs> <laughs> I'll help Raj in here. Why don't you go keep my dad company? He doesn't want me in there. I'm the creepy little guy who has sex with his daughter. Don't be silly. He loves you. Does he? Yeah, I thought they were like on good terms after after like the fishing, like when they went to fishing, tried to went to fishing, you know? And I thought they were good. Yeah, my mom's been to <clears throat> Arizona. 
She rode one of those mules down in the Grand Canyon. Long story short, they had to shoot it. Because she's so fat. <laughs> I'll get the door. Well, you finish laughing. <laughs> oh, at least the guy's gonna help you. Happy Thanksgiving. It smells up. wonderful. Bernadette's dead. Anyone slaving away in the kitchen? Because I shouldn't know what you... <laughs> What's with you? Oh, she's mad at me because she just found out she's married to Zach. Really? That dumbass you used to date? That's hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> I can't believe I felt bad for opening this in the car. You need any help? Hi, uh, yeah. Can you uh, reach that uh, gravy board up there? Uh, sure. Great. That makes one of you. <laughs> Bernadette, you're on corn, gravy, and yam detail. Amy, you're on rolls, cranberries, and making sure Bernadette stays away from the marshmallows. <laughs> That's right, I see you. <laughs> we know all your if secrets. You have any I'll be Focus is key. Did you guys know Penny married Zach three years ago? What? <laughs> <laughs> She's still on mushrooms, marshmallows. Okay, I found the uh, court papers that you and Zach need to fill out. I'll print them when we get home. Fine. And we can just put this whole thing behind us. Are you done? Look, I get it. I screwed up. Is this all we're gonna talk about the rest of the day? Why are you mad at me? You're the one that did this stupid thing. I'm just trying to fix it. Oh, I need some air. How am I the bad guy? She's the one who married someone else. I'm the victim. Sounds like Zach's the victim. You're sleeping with his wife. <laughs> I'm trying to watch the game. Shut up. <laughs> you just came to relax. I'm happy to know I just spoke to Zach and he's willing to sign the court papers. He's on his way here now. You invited him here? Yeah. I'm getting ready to weigh in again. <laughs> what do you think they ought to do now? I would throw a quick slant to a wide out, oh, given that the defense is showing I see blitz. It, I see it. Oh, they're going to bond blitz, together, right? <laughs> and how they're going to be jealous. When I called him, he had nothing to do, so I just thought... Hey, guys, I'm trying to cook in here. Oh, sorry, we'll keep it down. No, no, speak up. I'm about to use the blender, and I don't want to miss anything. <laughs> it's to too juicy. Because she invited Zach. What? <laughs> the plot like my gravy thicken. <laughs> That's hilarious. I was so pissed I wanted to shoot my TV. So was my dad. Does your dad still live in Texas? He died when I was 14. I'm sorry to hear that. So was the man who owned the local liquor store. Lost the best there customer, I guess. Oh, so if your dad died when you were 14, you were never old enough to have a beer with the man. He did try to give me one for my high school graduation, but I was 11 and my mom said no. <laughs> I wonder why. Well, you're having one with me. Oh. I never had a beer with my dad either. <laughs> Try to mind? join. We're having a moment here. I can't believe Penny's married to Zach. Uh, I wonder what she saw in that guy. How's it going out there? Sheldon and your dad are bonding and completely ignoring me. What are they doing? They're drinking beer and watching football. So why don't you do that with them? They don't want me. Sean started talking about how his dad isn't alive anymore, and they, they were toasting, and I tried to tell them about how sad I was when my dad abandoned- Zach's here. <laughs> Sorry, I really want to hear how sad you are. I'll be back in like five, 10 minutes. <laughs> Poor Howard. I didn't have anything going on. Plus, Penny told me we're married, and Thanksgiving's a time to be with family. Yeah, okay, great. Can we just get this over with? On Monday, we'll file for the annulment, and this marriage will be over. I don't know if I want to sign it. What? What do you mean? Why won't you sign it? I just think splitting up can be rough on kids. We don't have any kids. Are you sure? Because you didn't know we were married until this morning. <laughs> That's true. That's a valid question. Okay, look, Zach, come on. You know neither of us thought this was real. I mean, we were married by an Elvis impersonator. Of course it was an impersonator. We could never afford a real Elvis. Sign the paper. Hang on. You know what? You have been a jerk about this all day. You always do this. Whenever I mess up, you're right there to make me feel even worse about it. That is not true. But yeah, we could have waited till Monday, signed the papers, this all would have been over. You're the one who invited him here. Oh, there you go again. Just another mistake you're throwing in my face. Not cool, bro. <laughs> I'm starting to think you're not the kind of guy I want dating my wife. This is all just crazy. Yeah, well, she's not going to be your wife for long. <laughs> oh, no, are you dying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to sign the paper. You know what they say, happy wife, happy life. Let's eat. <laughs> Are you staying with us? <laughs> oh no, is Sheldon gonna get drunk? I but I can do we without love drunk Sheldon. <laughs>
I love it personally. I don't know what's scarier. The bathroom clowns are the woman that put them there. All I know is you can only fit one of her in a car. And there's the clown that came out of her. Oh no. Harry says you've been making fun of him all day. Now both of you apologize right now. She's so tiny. <laughs> it's funny when she's mad. <laughs> Thank you, O. Howard and Bernadette, an apology. Perhaps you're right. <clears throat> I'm sorry for my behavior. I've had alcohol and it's caused me to be inappropriate. <laughs> okay. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Ain't she great? <laughs> Sheldon. Now it's about you get us a couple of beers. <laughs> That forever. Hey, Sheldon, what do you say we go outside and throw around the old pigskin? This is a Jewish house. I don't think they have pigskin. <laughs> Did someone say pigskin? <laughs> she, she's like a ghost in the house. And I promise next time I get married, it won't be a joke. It'll be for love. I'm sorry, too. Don't be. Aww. It's my fault. I was a terrible husband. <laughs> I was never around. I know I'm hard on you, but you're not the worst son-in-law in the world. Mike, it's <laughs> the nicest thing you've ever said to me. I just vomited on a lot of clowns. <laughs> I love Dwayne Sheldon. I love him. This is Science Friday. I am Ira Flato. My Ooh, guest we're on the radio. Welcome, Dr. Sheldon Cooper. Thank you. <laughs> The university made me come here. I didn't want to. <laughs> Though I understand that you actually discovered this element by mistake. Ooh, we're talking about this. Yes. And some people in the science community are calling it the Wonder Blunder. Give me their names. I bet it's Wallowitz. <laughs> <laughs> it's just such a fascinating story. Your calculations are way off, but they find the element anyway. It's like misreading a treasure map and still finding the treasure. Do you know that I yodel? <laughs> Ooh, I would love to hear that. That's interesting, but this could be taking you down the path toward a Nobel Prize. And wouldn't that be unusual? Because you're a physicist. Yes, yes, I'd be a physicist with a Nobel in chemistry. Yeah, everyone laugh at the circus freak. <laughs> I don't need to sit here and take this flato. It's because of bullies like you. Every day, more and more Americans are making the switch to television. I was expecting a professional science interview, not an attack by some morning zoo shock jock. The university needs money so badly, perhaps you should start a swear jar. Whoa, that one's worth a dollar. <laughs> I know you don't like it, but every time you do an interview, it raises the profile of the university. Yeah, well, I'm not just some trained monkey dancing for coins. Of course you're not. People love trained monkeys. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to find a way to get used to it. But none of you know what this is like, being celebrated for something you wish you never did. Wanna pause the video game and help me clean up? I am cleaning up. Look at the mess the Joker made of Gotham City. <laughs> Come on, it's your friend who's coming to stay here. Raj grew up in India. Trust me, he's seen worse. Howie. Well, I promise I'll help out the rest of the week. The rest of the week? You said it was just gonna be a night or two. If I told you a week, would you have said yes? No. Well, then you left me no choice. <laughs> Why is he gonna stay? No, but they're tenting his building and can't find a hotel he likes that allows dogs. He's bringing cinnamon? Yeah, for a whole week, the nerve of some people. Sheldon, can I come in? Do you have cookies? No. Good, I don't deserve cookies. Come in. <laughs> <gasps> Will Waiter! Will. Hey, Sheldon. <laughs> Why are you here? Amy said you were having a rough time, and I thought maybe we could talk. Is that okay? Certainly. Although... Right now, I'm having a rough time because there's three people in my room and it's starting <laughs> to feel many. like a discotheque. <laughs> Too many. Sheldon, you said you were unhappy getting attention for something you wished you never did. Yeah, I know a little something about that. Your endless tweets are not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I remember why it's been a while. <laughs> Sheldon, I was actually talking about when I was a kid on Star Trek. How could you not like getting attention for playing Wesley Crusher? You were wonderful. Uh, know-it-all boy genius with an eidetic memory. A lot of people really hated the character, and some of them hated me because of it. That just happened to me. Next time you're stuck for a tweet, feel free to say what a jerk Ira Flato is. <laughs> Sheldon, the point is, Will learned to embrace that part of his life and moved on to bigger and better things. I'm just saying that there was a time when I thought I would never get out of Wesley Crusher's shadow. 
but now it's just one small part of a pretty great life. I do see what you're saying. That helps. Good. Would you two like to stay and play trains with me? Sure. Okay. <laughs> oh, great. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> I say all aboard, uh, you sit quietly and watch. Can I blow the whistle? You should probably go. Nah, <laughs> we can't be friends anymore. Gonna brush your teeth on my couch? No, I'm gonna brush cinnamon's teeth. <laughs> why bother? She spends half the time licking her butt. And the other half licking my face. That's why I'm brushing her teeth. Hey guys, sorry I'm so late. Did you already have dinner? No, we were waiting for you. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, so what do you feel like making? <laughs> what? Howard, no, the pudding Howard. just from work. Yeah. Let me get you a glass of wine, I'll cook dinner. Oh, Raj, you're our guest. Don't be silly, say it. You look like you've had a long day. No, she always looks like that. Because You're walking she on the edge. You're walking on the edge. This is my way of thanking you for letting me stay here. Tell us all about your day. Hey, um, well, first I was late to a meeting because I was stuck in traffic. No, I keep telling you to put that traffic app on your phone. Hey, when you got home today complaining that you felt sick from eating too many jelly beans, did I tell you how to fix it? No. <laughs> I said, oh, that must hurt, and I rubbed your belly. I thought of you the whole time. <laughs> Hello, President Siebert. Thank you for taking my call. No, I just wanted you to know that you can now expect enthusiastic participation from me regarding my discovery. Thank my friend, Will Wheaton. <laughs> for your information, I have nine friends. <laughs> Ten if we include you. Nine it is. <laughs> It's ten. I'll count Wallowitz. No. <laughs> Hello, Howard Leonard. didn't even make hey, the list. I didn't want to say anything until I knew for sure, but I've been rerunning the test on your element in my lab, and I disproved it. Your element does not exist. Yeah, but what about the Chinese research team? They found it. Yeah, it turns out someone added simulated signals to the data files. I mean, they faked the results. Really? Yes. So it's good you for you, Sheldon. Said, oh. So no more interviews? No, it's all over. I can't believe it. Well, you're welcome. You robbed me of my greatest achievement. <laughs> what? Now you're not happy about what? it. I'm back down to nine friends. <laughs> Make it eight. I'm sick of Wallowitz, too. <laughs> hey, what's with all the yelling? Leonard disproved my element. Now all the attention is going to go away. Oh, that's great. You must be thrilled. Oh, that's it. I'm down to seven friends. <laughs> when I thought the element was real, I didn't want it. But now that Leonard made it not exist, I want it more than anything in the world. The, the, the element never existed. I didn't take it away. Science took it away. Be mad at science. Yeah, don't you dare use science against me. <laughs> Will you tell him he's out of his mind? Actually, I get what he's saying. Oh, yes! Nine! Welcome <laughs> back, buddy. <laughs> Besties again. Sheldon, what do you want me to do? Uh, hide the information? If I don't publish it, it's just a matter of time before someone else does. But no, no, of course you have to publish. That's your responsibility as a scientist. Doing otherwise would be unethical. You have no choice. Fine, I'll publish. Can you believe this guy? <laughs> oh, Raj did the dishes. How do you know I didn't do them? Because once, when all the knives are dirty, you cut a bagel with your keys. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Aww. I picked up coffee while I was out. Bernadette, here's your soy peppermint mocha. And don't worry about your presentation today. You're going to be great. Yeah, you're going to knock it out of the park. What presentation do I have today? Just go. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of husband are you? Not interested at you all. Know, are you trying to make me look bad? I'm just being a good house guest. No, you're being a better husband than I am. Doing the dishes, getting coffee, knowing about her life. Who does that? <laughs> a good husband. Come on, I brought you one too. No, I don't want coffee. That's why I got you hot chocolate. Give me that. <laughs> Howard, listen to me. You're a great husband. Yes, your listening skills could use some work, but it's amazing how far you've come, given that you're an only child raised by an overprotective mom. Hey. I just wanted to let you know that I, I posted my findings. I saw. And I just posted a retraction of my paper. Now the whole scientific community knows I was wrong. There he is! <laughs> no, Chris, you're already here. Oh, by the way, Hofstetter, nice job disproving the Chinese team. It's not a big deal. It's a huge deal. Have you ever considered a career in retail? That way you could take things back for a living? OK, Barry, that's enough. I don't know. That's OK. I can fight my own battles. Isn't that right, Bailey? <laughs> Is that a reference to my speech impediment? I can't control it. That was uncalled for. I take it back. 
Of course you do, because you're the witch whacktor! Uh, you freaking great kid! Maybe you could try being more thoughtful like your friend Raj. Yeah, well, maybe you could try being more like Raj. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah he packed me a lunch this morning, and there was a note inside that said, go get him. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't do enough around here, now I need to pack your lunch? And by the way, why do you need a note telling you to go get him? You're a grown man, you should know to go get him. This is stupid, why are we fighting? I don't know. I know what the problem is. It's him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's kick him out. You <laughs> yeah, we were totally fine half-assing our marriage till you showed up. I can't believe they kicked you out. I can't believe they're still married. Oh, no, I forgot Cinnamon's toothbrush at Howard's. I guess you're sharing with Daddy again. <laughs> oh! What's that animal doing in our apartment? Oh, relax, she's in her crate. She can't get out. I have two words for you, Jurassic Park. <laughs> Explains worse, everything. Worse. Beautiful night. Why don't you and I go for a nice walk together? Everything is just sex with you, isn't it? <laughs> Relationships are a give and take. She can only be there for you as much as you are for her. Thank That's you, true. Rajesh. And Amy, you need to be patient with Sheldon instead of pressuring him to accept intimacy on your terms. You should probably go. <laughs> Get out! I'm Ira Flato, and this is Science Friday. I'd like to welcome back Dr. Sheldon Cooper, who thought he had discovered a new super heavy element only to have it disproved by my next guest, Dr. Leonard Hostadter. Welcome to Science Friday, gentlemen. Thanks. Hello. Thank you. Can you walk us through the process you used to disprove his theory? Well, yeah, I believe I can answer that. <laughs> he now me. he wants to answer the questions. Fine. As I was saying. You're telling it wrong. And to really understand the story here, you have to start at the very beginning. A small town in East Texas where a young Sheldon. genius named... That's right, Sheldon Cooper. <laughs> he was bitten by his neighbor's dog, leading to his first scientific breakthrough, the doggy death ray. You know, I'd really like to hear it from Dr. Hofstetter, if it's okay with you. Yeah. What a surprise. Wait, did, did you invite me back just so you could ignore me? Actually, I didn't invite you. You came in, you took a seat, and I'm not comfortable <laughs> with confrontation. You wasn't even invited. Oh, Shelly, Shelly. This interview is supposed to be about me. Well, that seems like a snooze. Maybe for public If I were you, I would probably record this. You know, if we did a shot Life. every time they said something embarrassing, this would be one hell of a drinking game. A little early for alcohol, isn't it? You know, I don't just say smart things about science. I also yodel. Yodel <laughs> I'll get the vodka. <laughs> this is unbelievable. It's so good. Well, guys, of course, these episodes were so funny. In the first episode, to be honest, I felt a bit sad for Howard because he didn't manage to bond with Bernadette's father, but Sheldon did, and I kind of understand why he was upset because I see that Howard is trying, you know, to get along with Bernadette's father, but it's just not really working. But Sheldon and Bernadette's dad, they just click together over the football and Sheldon's dad. So yeah, I kind of felt sad for Howard, but then seeing drunk Sheldon, it should be a completely different series. Just episodes of Sheldon being drunk, I would watch it. I would give you all my money just to see this. And then in the second episode, Leonard proved that Sheldon's element is not real. And now Sheldon can just live his life, no interviews, not being famous, no raises, <laughs> nothing. But now obviously he's not happy about it because he was taken away. And as Leonard said, you just can't win with Sheldon. No matter what you do, you're still gonna lose. <laughs> Sheldon won't be happy with you no matter what. And yeah, who knows, maybe Sheldon will do the calculations again with this, the one that he did already and he did a mistake and who knows, maybe he gonna get a breakthrough and he's gonna find a completely different element and it's just gonna be another accomplishment, everybody's gonna be happy, gonna cheering, going to the interview, but he actually gonna feel like he did something with his brain and it actually worked, so who knows, maybe he's not gonna try it ever again because he's like I'm down. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share it with your friends. And don't forget to stay kind to everyone and spread love. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys!